Seven people shot in five different shootings in Philadelphia. Three people have died. Police say a 50-year-old man was shot in the face. A 20-year-old man was shot in the foot. A 33-year-old man was shot 18 times. Another 20-year-old man was shot in the chest and is in critical condition. A 51-year-old man was shot and killed in North Philadelphia. Three people were killed. Four others were wounded in five separate shootings. And one of the victims is just 14 years old. It's obvious to see that there is a gun violence problem in the city of brotherly love. In 2021, there have been over 520 homicides and counting, and the city is on pace to surpass 1,900 non-fatal shootings this year. To put that number into perspective, that's nearly half of the 4,000 person occupancy student section that fills the Xfinity Center for Maryland Terrapin basketball games. The violence has escalated in recent years with 360 homicides in 2019 and 499 homicides in 2020, increasing at an overall rate of nearly 35% over the past decade. As you saw in that previous clip, the guns do not discriminate by age. School children as young as 12 and those old enough to retire are losing their lives as a result of this epidemic. The city's history of racial discrimination is partly at fault for this modern tragedy. Housing discrimination stemming from the Great Migration formed minority-dense communities in the city. This has managed to influence the violence which has plagued Philadelphia, a city with a black demographic nearly quadruple the 2020 census reported national percentage of 13%. A history of redlining restrictions on black financial credit led many black Philadelphians to try and profit off the streets, leading to organized gang activity and the distribution of illegal opioids. Gun violence in late 20th century Philly was originally composed of conflicts over gang turf, but that has now transitioned to the prevalent senseless killings that plague the city today. But what can be done to suppress the murder rate and stop the gun violence problem in the first capital city of the United States? Perhaps the most clear-cut method would be the advocacy and implementation of gun control laws in the state of Pennsylvania. As it stands, unless you are a convicted felon, the United States Department of Justice's ATF Bureau allows for the legal transfer of guns to unlicensed carriers as long as the relative that bought the firearm has filled out an application. Under this policy, someone with malicious intent and a dangerous background could fill out an application on behalf of their eligible grandmother and legally walk around the streets with a gun. Flawed legislation is a key enabler to the gun violence epidemic in Philadelphia. However, there are a variety of influential groups that are working to write legislative changes to combat these problematic policies. Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro and his office have led a full-fledged campaign to combat these shootings, having cut down on 80% receiver ghost guns and also altered the police presence in areas with high volumes of homicides in order to create a more peaceful environment. Here's A.G. Shapiro explaining how his recent track and trace initiative is a viable solution to the violence. So if you can better track and trace, hence the thing, if you can better track and trace these weapons, you can both solve crimes more effectively and ideally stop a crime from occurring in the first place. Now, all of us aren't the elected attorney general of the sixth largest state in the country. However, each of us has a voice that we can use to bring attention to Philly's gun violence epidemic. Eligible Pennsylvanians can use their voice by voting for candidates like Shapiro that have the power to enact gun control legislation. If you reside outside of the Keystone State, sharing social media pages such as at no gun zone on Instagram, as well as local news clips can bring more eyes to the problem and put pressure on elected officials to make change. Because it is such a big problem, it's going to take a lot to begin to chip away at the gun violence in Philadelphia, but the more people working to implement these changes, the more likely we are to save future victims.